The past few days in math, we've learned about graphs. First, we learned about a picture graph where there were pictures that we put on the graph to scan for each um, item. Then we learned about a bar graph. And we learned about that yesterday. And what is different between a bar graph and a picture graph? Okay, instead of a picture, a bar graph has what? Okay, or it just colors the whole box, right? Okay, very good. So, we are going to be um, making our own bar graphs. And just like you learned this week in math, you really, really, really have to read and be careful with each set of directions. Okay, um, I want you to get out your top color page and keep track of the food he sells at the soccer game. He sells all of the food on the table. Make a bar graph to show the food Dan sells. So do you see this food on the table right here? We are going to put those, that food on the graph, but we're going to make a bar graph instead of a picture graph. So, what do we need to do? Count the food and color in the correct boxes. So, how can we use this bar graph to help us? I want to look at the table and determine how much time very good. You are exactly right. So he looked up here at the table and he counted how many pizzas there were because he saw pizza on the bar graph. So he's going to use the bar graph to stay organized and to figure out how much food Dan sold. You're exactly right. Okay. So we're going to do a very much the same as um, the sheep. Remember we had black sheep and white sheep and we crossed them out every time we used it or counted one. So I want you to count all of your pizzas and then color each box for the pizza. However many pizzas you counted, that's how many boxes you color. Do you see how our uh, bar graph is already looking different than our picture graph. Right, so now what are we going to do? We're going to count the hot dogs. So go ahead and count your hot dogs and draw that or color that many boxes. Make sure you color nicely and in the lines. Now what am I going to do? Count the tacos. What does your graph show about the food Dan sold? Okay, very good. 
So that he sold less pizzas than he did hot dogs or tacos, but he sold sold more hot dogs. That's we can look up at this graph and see that information, right? How many tacos did he sell? Four. Very good. If I look at the last box I colored, I can come down and it points to what number? So that's how many tacos he sold. Do you see how to read our bar graph? Also, on our bar graph, what else, what other information is there that we learned about yesterday? Um, that, uh, that, um, like, since this one's right here, you gotta add. That's it. true, that's what we just did, but I want something different that we can tell from our bar graph. That, um, like. That's true, but I want something else from our bar graph. Yes, sir. What else? A can title? We... Very good. There is a title on our bar graph. Okay. What else can we see on our bar graph? Very good. So that says number of food items sold. So these numbers is how many were sold. Okay. What else can you see? It has the pictures like on the side, so you don't get mixed up when you have to like be a different stuff. And you have to like you use the wrong one. Okay, so it labels all of the things that it has on the chart, right? On the side it says very good. Is that what this is? Yeah, so it labels what those are. Okay, did they put kinds of cars? No! No, because these are not cars. They're foods. They're foods. Okay. Are they colors? No! No. Okay, so that information is very important. 